Jerry Nichols, Gary Carnwell, Gary, the ex-mayor of Cahokia. It's an honor and a privilege to have you guys all the time. What's going on, buddy? Everything. You know, we got a mess down in Cahokia, and uh, and I appreciate being on today. You know, reaching out to your listeners is a big deal to me. And, uh, you know, being a Democrat and being an honest person and, and attempting to participate in the Democratic Party in St. Clair County is an impossible thing. You can only participate with them, it appears, if you're corrupt. And I'll otherwise, uh, you know, otherwise you're shunned. Otherwise, you're shunned. So there's there's no in between. You're either corrupt and with them, or you're honest and they don't like you. You know, Gary, we talked a, a while back, and you were kind of betwixt and between. And I hope I'm not kissing and telling on this, but you said, Bob, I've been a Democrat all my life, and I hate to leave the party. But we discussed it. You didn't leave the party. The Democratic Party left you, left Jerry Nichols, left 90% of the Democrats in St. Clair County. It's not the same Democratic Party with all the proper principles as 30, 40 years ago, the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Democrats. This is a, a gang. This is a culture of corruption that has spread. It has spread like terminal cancer all throughout, not just St. Clair County, but throughout the state of Illinois. That's right. And, you know, it, well, folks need to be informed about the way elections go down when it comes to a primary and a general election. You know, and this, this next election is a primary. And I just want folks to understand that you you have to declare one or the other. You have to declare Democrat or Republican. So, in other words, if you are a supporter of, say, Donald Trump or Ben Carson and you wish to support them for president, you can only do that by requesting a Republican ballot. If you choose Democrat, they will not appear on that ballot. So people need to be mindful of that. And if you have a political operative that is bum-rushing you on your front porch and, and getting you to sign an application for an absentee ballot, they're probably choosing that for you. It may be a big surprise to you that all of a sudden that application will be turned into Tom Holbrook's office in St. Clair County, and you're going to surprisingly receive a Democratic ballot in the mailbox, not knowing that you even requested one. And that is, to me, that's fraud. Yeah, that's, that's both a good fraud. point. If somebody requests a ballot, they should fully know that they have done so. And so be careful. Be careful what you sign. Be careful what you request. If you intend to support Donald Trump or Ben Carson for president of the United States, then you have to declare a Republican ballot in this primary. The following election after that will be a general election where Democrats and Republicans will square off against each other, and then you will have a choice where yeah, you can point, choose the person and not the party Yeah, you don't have time. to declare in the general election, but you do in the primary. That's true. What, uh, again, Gary, we've, we've talked about this, and I think you've had some soul-searching. You, you, your pop's been a Democrat all of his life. You've been a Democrat. Jerry Nichols sitting across from us has been a Democrat. Carl Officer, who just walked in, has been a Democrat. But when the Democratic Party starts doing such egregious things, I think people have to look past the D behind their name or an R for Republican behind their name. I, th I think it has to be a moral issue, and I think that's what's going to happen in 2016 in St. Clair County. I think people are going to vote their morals, their guts, their true feelings. They're not going to vote because a guy has a D behind his name or a guy has an R. I think we put that out so much in the last few years. I think people are starting to understand. Yeah, and you know, it's it's not, you, you know, you have to be one or the other to participate in a primary and receive a nomination for the general election. So it's the structure of the elections in the state of Illinois that mandates that. I think that most people can subscribe to, to both philosophies of the Democratic Party and philosophies of the Republican Party. They want to be helpful to people that need help, but they also want fiscal responsibility at the same time. And, and, and so those are extremes in both parties. But I think that most people fall in between there somewhere. Unfortunately, in a primary, you have to declare, because if you choose nonpartisan, you're not going to have any candidates to choose from, only referendums or something. You'll receive right. a very, very small ballot. So, And this is the reason why usually there's a lower turnout in a primary than there is in a consolidated or a general election, is because people don't like to have to declare. I've seen people walk into the polls and, and the election judges will ask, well, do you want a Republican or a Democratic ballot? And they say, well, I'm not telling you. Well, that's because they, <laughs> they don't want to be put in that position, you know, but unfortunately the way that a primary is structured, you have to. So, so once again, let me tell everybody 
just for educational purposes. If you choose, if you decide that you want to back Donald Trump or you want to back Ben Carson or any of the other Republican presidential candidates, I think that dictates what people choose in a primary more so in a presidential primary right. is who do they want to, to choose for president. So if you want to back any of the Republican presidential candidates, you have to choose a Republican ballot. They're not going to appear on the Democratic ballot. And I just want people to be aware right. of that. What else? Uh, there, I think you've got something very, very important to you and near and dear to you that you've came in today to talk about, Gary. What, what is that? Well, you know, all my life um, I've participated with the Democratic Party. I'm a precinct committeeman in my fourth term. My father has been the the longest precinct committeeman in the village of Cahokia, like over 35 years. You know, recently they, they gerrymandered his, the boundaries of the precincts and they cut him out. You know, and that is really disrespectful to him. I love my father. He has worked tirelessly. And, and you know, him and I and other Democratic precinct committeemen in Cahokia have really come through for the Democratic Party, like 80 percent plus in, in these elections. You know, but that's not good enough for them because I don't believe that they're interested in building a solid organization that benefits the Democratic Party at a, at a state or national level. And I think that the results last November proved that. I think that there's so much infighting going on. In the Democratic Party, it's Democrat against Democrat, and, and that repulses me. I can't participate in that anymore. So last night, I went to the Village of Cahokia board meeting for the sole purpose of handing a letter to Bob Sprague, who's the village attorney, and he's also the St. Clair County Democratic chairman. Piece of crap, in my opinion, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. The letter is myself resigning as precinct committeeman in the Village of Cahokia, as the Democratic precinct committeeman for Centerville Precinct 18. It's a tough decision for me, but it's something that I have to do if I wish to stand by my principles. And so I did that. I handed him a letter resigning as Democratic Precinct Committeeman. Okay. I can't participate with St. Clair County Democrats anymore. Yeah, well, no, here, and I want to semi-correct you. You can't participate with the renegade faction of the St. Clair County Democratic Party. They, they, The renegades have taken over. The true Democrats have left. There's a lot of attorneys that have left. There's a lot of good people that say, hey, I can't be, if this is being a Democrat today, if this is what we're we're called now or Democrats today, I don't want to be there, Gary. And I think you're one of thousands in St. Clair County you are going to feel the same way. That's right. You know, in St. Clair County, the leadership in the Democratic Party, the so-called leadership in the Democratic Party is backwards. It's, it's, it's all infighting, really. It's Democrat against Democrat, and that's not productive to anybody. It's about exclusive control. It's about vote fraud, for sure. Right. If you take a look at the St. Clair County Democratic Central Committee and where their funds go, you're going to see that those funds end up directly into the hands of people who have been convicted of vote fraud. And, you know, vote fraud is hard to overcome. You have to make that up in other areas because you know it's going to take place in certain areas you know and i think that that's devastating to the communities that it happens in uh, without them realizing that i don't think that whenever you hand over so much power to somebody by participating in vote fraud that i don't believe that they turn around and use their positions of power to benefit those same communities i believe that they use it the other way right so it has to stop, you know, and it's all about educating people. Don't sell your vote. Uh, realize what happens after the fact. Realize that these, these are not your friends. They're using you. They come in late. They decide to do a few things to, to create a perception that they're doing something for you, and then they spend their entire four-year term not doing things for you. Now, just for them and their families, and don't forget, people, 2016 is also a federal election, and the federal authorities will be down the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition with our good friend Carl Officer and Roger Cook are demanding that the state and the feds take a look, take a look at all the fraudulent activity going on in East St. Louis and all throughout St. Clair County because it hurts the good people. It hurts the voters that come out and want to vote for the person of their choice. If they steal 30 votes down in East St. Louis, mine, yours, Jerry's, Carl's vote's not going to count. It cancels out the legitimate votes of every person who does not sell it. And, you know, and it also devastates the entire community because the actions of these government elected officials, if their heart is not in the right place, then they use their power to take millions of dollars away from your community. 
Uh, and it's all because you sold your vote to them for 30 or 50 bucks or whatever yeah. it is. That oh, are you crazy? 50 bucks? Who the hell? Where, where are you going? Well, Try five know, or I ten. I don't participate. No. So, you know, obviously I don't participate in that. As a matter of fact, I've stood in public forums and, and said emphatically that we will not buy your vote. And I mean that because yeah. that is the beginning of the end for your community overall. That's very well.